G'day guys. Uh, I'm sure a few of you are wondering what this number is. A few of you might have seen it before, or you might know what it's worth, what its value is. Uh, it is 18,974. So we'll write it up here. Eighteen thousand nine hundred and seventy-four. Uh, for for this number, the four is it worth only four. It is as a place value of four, or it's in the ones. The seven is worth seventy, so that would be in tens. The nine has nine hundred, so it's in the hundreds. The eight is worth eight thousand, so it's in the thousands. And the one in this is worth ten thousand. So it's in the tens of thousands. Yeah. As you guys can see, it's one, two, three, four, five digits long. So that's how we know it's a ten. It's a number in the tens of thousands. Now, yeah. this, this, um, these tens of thousands uh, start from. I'm oh, just getting the book section here. 10,000 to 900, I'm um, sorry, 99,999. So any number between them would be considered a, any number between these two numbers would be considered a um, number in the tens of the thousands, tens of thousands. Um, a way sometimes students can get flustered uh, between what number is bigger because there's so many there's a, a lot of numbers going on so it can be quite confusing um, as to what what number has higher value for example a number like uh, 90,123 compared to 10 uh, sorry 19,998. Sometimes students can get confused. They'll see all these high numbers and just assume that it's the high number. But with um, to to be able to determine what number is higher, you start from left to right. So the, the nine in the tens of thousands is higher than the one. So that would make this one higher than this one. Um, another example. Uh, yeah. So this could be a seven. And the nine is still bigger than the seventy-nine or the seven, so that would make the ninety thousand number bigger. Um, for numbers like ten thousand one hundred and twenty-three and ten thousand seven hundred and eighty-five, uh, using oh, I went to like how long's that going for? Four minutes. Oh, sorry, tell me if it's five. Uh, this one, the, using this principle, the one is the same, so you go to the next value of the thousandth, because the tens of thousands value is the same. And again, the thousandth number is zero, so you go to the next one in the hundreds, and the one, this the top one is the one, and the bottom one is a seven. So we all know that the seven is bigger than the one, so that would make this number bigger than this number, okay? Um, when we're writing, when we are writing numbers, uh, an example like this can be quite confusing. Uh, but 
at the end of the day, all you have to do is just, oh, the, even this one, or this number, eight, we can all spell 18, and then, oh, sorry. It'll be, it'll always be this first, these first two numbers. So, oh, with that example, it was 18, followed by the thousand. Nine hundred and seventy-four. Um yep, and we will keep going on with all this and we'll get stuck into the activity.